Hasn't heard from his deck hands the gambler. Tips his hat and walks towards the door. It's <laughs> Jesus. Like I can't get this friggin' thing together. What do you take me for, lads? Some drunken Uncle Bumblefuck with uh, fucks around in a shop only to go upstairs, grope the wrong wife, and fall into the Christmas tree? I know when to put myself to bed. This is not that. Let that be a lesson. All you young lads, don't be a fucking burden. Fun's fun and all. Anytime somebody's got to babysit you, infantilize you, ain't no fucking good. Cut your hair, straighten up, fly right. Speaking of which, my wife wanted me to throw out these jeans perfectly good. Going out dancing jeans. Just, uh, just gotta fix a wee little issue here. Oh, that's a bit of a blowout. Now, what we're gonna do here, after I get this, priorities, right? Fucking, it's not my uh, by decade shopping trip time yet. I gotta make these things last. I'll go buy tools all day long. Fucking pants? Oh god. Done in a bond, son. Mm -hmm. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is uh, apparently. Guys were disappointed, and rightfully so, that I didn't take this right down to bare bones, right down to the marrow. So I'm going to try and pound these pins up, because this cannot be, as pointed out in the uh, directives down below me, this cannot be single piece. It has to be two parts, because how the fuck would you get this through there, and this would pop off. And so, anyway, makes a sense to me. And then once I get this A part, we're going to machine a square on here or some sort of not round fixture so that we can put it in the torque structomatic and see just how much she'll suffer. Ah! Fuck! That's gonna leave a mark. Do something a little like that. Maybe like that. There we go. Ah! She's coming. She's coming. Now she ought to chew real good now on account of us christening the thing. Fuck, sprung a leak. This, you guys are fucking with me. This thing doesn't come apart, does it? <laughs> Just love to see you guys suffer. Uh, now what do we do? Now it's got some clumpy bits. Chewy. Oh, 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 yes. What the fuck? Oh, it's spring loaded over. Oh, is that cool? They're cool. So there's the output shaft with the output pins. Eh? Eh? And then some die springs or something. Oh no, rollers. Rollers. So in the comments about this, um, somebody said, wouldn't this be far more inefficient, more friction because of all these moving parts and so forth than a regular gearbox? No, because a regular gearbox has sliding friction. The gear teeth have to slide together and then slide back the other way. This is always in the same direction as long as it's turning that same direction you see a gear tooth it's got to slide in and slide out and it's always rolling friction there's no sliding friction rolling friction of course is always better than sliding friction you get skids you try pulling a skid on dirt or you try pulling a wheel on dirt which is easier this needs to interface with the Torque Structomatic Model 69. Unfortunately, we don't have a tool what has the key input. And of course, key inputs are very weak. They're made to shear. The keys are made to shear. So we're going to change this up a little bit. I think we'll buck this off and put a, <coughs> excuse me, uh, choking on my tongue tangulation. We're going to put a square drive on here, what for uh, adding sockets to, so we can actually use the Fergan thing other than just uh, destroying it. Uh, it seems like a good plan to me. However, it occurred to me as I'm setting this up, the super precision we need on this because it's got to be cut six sides, or no, <laughs> four sides for a square drive. Uh, 
I haven't trammed this mill in since Christ was a cowboy. So that's what we're going to do. We'll see how far she's off and that, that might explain <laughs> quite a bit. <laughs> Let's have a look here. There we go on Z. Uh, let's go. We'll zero it out at the top. There we go. E e oh, oh, oh. And then we'll hit that. And give her a go. We're in millimeters for you continental types. Cow town. Now it would probably help me if I cleaned that off as well. Just an observation. Yeah, we're off by however many millimeters that is. What the fuck is that? Almost uh, one-tenth of a millimeter. How many thou that is, I have no idea. <clears throat> Integrate pi to the power of three. Laplace transform. Four thou. Four thou. Quick stoning off camera. Oh, me. Not the, <laughs> not the table. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I, uh, I'm dumb enough already. Ah, oh, fuck. That's heavy. Now, we're going to see how close that fasten gets us. <clears throat> if you want Stephen Gutzwinter results, you got to put the effort in. We're going to see how much, how close we can get with simple quarter assery. Hopefully you didn't get any chips in there. What's, what's that? You hear that? Yeah, that's my girl. Good enough, she says. <laughs> we'll just test her out, though. And then uh, if it doesn't work... And we gotta take it off. We probably should have just done it right the first time anyway. And click. Give that a try. We're at one already. And wow, well, way off. Fuck. Right, what the way? No, oh, for fuck's sakes. Yet again, life is hard when you're a bumbling idiot. There's a poor craftsman what blames his tools. <laughs> But this is fucking shit. Now, well, luckily, I'm not a craftsman. Here's the thing. Hey, Dunning-Kruger. That's that uh, hoary old adage. If you know a lot about something, you take it for granted that other people don't know exactly what you know. And also, the other side of that is that if you know nothing about something, you have no fucking clue what you don't know. And I'm in that second category Unfortunately for me, there's lots of machinists who watch this channel just for having a laugh. And a lot of them are very helpful with tips. But some of them are not helpful at all. Like, just commenting, you're a fucking idiot, doesn't... <laughs> it ain't... I know that. I know this. This is not new news. You ain't helping anybody. But if you tell somebody or just mention politely what they're doing wrong, that helps them out uh, immensely compared to the alternative, which is just being an arsehole. Well, I think we're getting there close, but uh, I got the old call to glory, so we will have another go at this manana. As you can see, we got the Dick Vin device, and I beat the world record, son of a diddly, for tramming in an old clapped out bridge port. I didn't have the fucking mic on. Ah, gold, I tell you, I, I was on fire. I was on fucking fire. Definitely uh, gunning for YouTube Vigeo Award of the Year. Or something similar now what we got to do is I got to set the depth and I measured it out so in order to get a squaw three carters around girth wise I got to drop the depth here to well we'll we'll bottom this out the tool on the there we go and then I just come up here with my quill measurement and I zero that out that's a 10 and we got to go well, I'll zero it out at zero. Why don't I move the camera? How's that for an idea? Now we move off the part. We try not to hit the microphone. Sorry about that, headphone users. Rest in peace. It says. Now we go 90. 90. What was it? 98. I think I wrote it down. Or not. Ha! I did write it down. <laughs> I come down. 93. 
lock the quill. Bob's your auntie. That is to say, Bob was your auntie till they gutted the medical plan at the coal-fired tea kettle stokers union. Funny though how the union executive all got brand new skidoos that year. Wrong way. <laughs> that is not the tool you're looking for. Your finger, boys. Seized right solid? Ah, you got more faith in me than that, don't you? No? Nope. <laughs> Fuck yeah! Before we get too deep into her, I gotta make a reaction arm for this, but I just wanna test it out. We got this is the snap on uh, half inch ratchet, super long, right? Two feet long, 200 pound gorilla on the other end. That'll give us, well, plus, it's Christmas, so plus minus 10%. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Uh, so that'll give us 400, 450 foot pounds. And uh, we just got the drill in high speed, so low torque mode. And we'll see what happens here. What breaks? Engage your safety squints. Holy fuck. It's fucking lifting me off the. F oh, we're slipping in the chuck. <laughs> Got me twisted up like a fucking pretzel. Jesus Christ. Now that is a successful trial of the Sumitomo cycloidal drive. Incredible amount of through torque on that. We are going to have to fabric cobble something up so that we can uh, do a death match versus the Cockford Ollie. Ah! Torque struct o 69. Thanks for watching. Keep your dick in advice. That's fucking incredible. Oh.